Hey guys, so before I start this video, I want to tell you to please look at my description. I have a lot of links and things to tweets and all kinds of articles and petitions that you can sign um, for the Black Lives Matter movement. I am really, really, really trying to spread awareness. Um, I have a lot of things on my Twitter about it. I have threads and I've just retweeted a lot of things and I'm going to leave all the things that you can do. Um, in the description, I have links to petitions that you can sign, links to places that you can donate, um, articles if you're really like unsure if you're not in the United States of what's going on. Um, if you are in the United States, the links to things that um, kind of list all the different things that you can do to help um, this whole situation. I think it's really, really terrible. And as a white person, I really want to be able to use my voice. And I really, really encourage any of you, whoever you are, whatever you are, to do so as well. So I have lots and lots of links in my description. Um, I really encourage you to do what you can. I know not everyone can afford to donate, but even sharing links and just signing petitions um, can really, really make a huge difference. So before I start this video, I want to encourage you to go sign at least one petition and share at least one link or post somewhere. Um, so yeah, you're not allowed to watch my video until you do that. Okay, now we can get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a voiceover type thing because when I was doing what I'm doing, I needed my phone and I used my phone for everything. So I couldn't record and film and use my phone at the same time so yeah we get voiceover kit today so today i am setting up my binder for the more and more comeback so i've set up what my pages are gonna look like um so i like made a template of how i want to set them up and then i decided to make fillers for this comeback i normally don't do this but i really wanted to for this one because um well at the time i was making this we were like still piecing together which versions there were exactly for photo cards so I was just kind of filling them in or like writing them down as we got them and then once I had them all I was able to write them all onto the little fillers that I made so yeah these fillers were like inspired by Kiara or go on on YouTube and how she does her fillers or at least how I saw her do them for a video um with her red velvet but I had like a smaller space so my calligraphy is not good so please ignore that but um yeah so they're kind of small too um because i didn't want to use too much paper but i thought this was a decent size where i could write the the member and then what like version of the photo card it is and then once i have it on the way i can just write that on the same uh, side so then i can save the back for something else because if you guys know me i try to reuse all the paper that i have um so sometimes the fillers that I have look really messy just because I've reused it. But for this comeback, I wanted everything to look clean and nice and really organized. Um, so yeah, I have my first copies of albums coming tomorrow when I'm filming this. Um, so they're coming on Sunday and I'm really excited. Um, so I counted that I needed like 52, but then I ended up having like so many extras. So I don't know where I got 52, but basically all I'm doing is I made like a little template um, and I was like, okay, this is the size I want it, and I just traced it, and I cut it onto a bunch of pieces of paper, so I had enough for all the members that I'm collecting. So for this comeback, I am back to my top three biases from the very beginning. You won't find a video of me collecting these three members all at the same time, but I did at one point. It's just I wasn't making videos as much, and so I didn't really show you. So I know for every twice unboxing on my channel, my biases are different, but for this, I am collecting Jihyo, Mina, and Dahyun, and it's probably going to stay that way just because these three were my first original three biases, and now I'm right back to them. Mina has, like, been my bias for most of the time. I think there was, like, one point, I think in my fancy unboxing, I wasn't collecting Mina, but, like, right before that and then right after that, I was, so... Um, I'm back to my top three. Jihyo and Dahyun were like also top three members that I first discovered. I could tell them and Jungyun apart like very quickly. Um, I did mention in a recent video that I was collecting Jungyun and I am. I'm just not fully collecting her for this comeback. If I pull any of hers, I will keep them. But I do have four sets of albums coming just for myself. So um, any extra cards I have, I'll probably keep or try to trade for Jungyun. Um, 
I'm going to prioritize Mina, Dahyun, and um, Jihyo, as well as OT9 sets that I'm collecting. So for now, I'm not really fully collecting Jungyun, but I will possibly be if I have enough extra cards. I'm only collecting one OT9 set this time around because there are um, units and stuff, and there are only nine cards per member, which fills up a nine pocket. So normally I wouldn't even want to collect an OT9 set because it fills up perfectly. I don't have any extra cards, but um, I'm doing the same thing that I did for Fancy where I'm still collecting an OT9 set. So for Fancy, I collected the one that spells I Fancy You just because I, um, when it comes to OT9 sets, I either collect where they spell something or if there's a signature card. And in this case, they did have a signature on one of the versions so i'm collecting that but that is the only ot9 set and i'm not fully collecting units either i'm only collecting um three units actually i'm collecting i got really lucky with units i'm collecting the mina and dahyun or sorry the mina and jihyo unit and then the jihyo and dahyun unit and then there's also a Mina and Sana unit that has Jihyo and Chaeyoung like peeking in the background and I just think it's adorable so I'm gonna click that one too and then I don't want any of the other units but I do want the group cards so I'm gonna collect three units and then the two group cards and then I think on the one page I put that I wanted to put the most cards in but I don't think they're gonna fit in a nine pocket so I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. There are pre-order benefits from With Drama that are different. They're, um, they're like the most card, but they're for individual members. But I don't know how easy those are going to be able to get because they are pre-order benefit from With Drama. So yeah. So here I start writing. Um, so I made eight for each member to start off with for their own pages and then um, for each member that I'm collecting. So I start with Jihyo um, because I'm putting them in age order and I like that Mina will be in the middle of the two. I just like that. So I start with Jihyo. I tried to do calligraphy but it was really hard because there was such a small space and I'm not like super good at calligraphy. I write in cursive naturally like but <laughs> calligraphy i just not good at it so i tried <laughs> but it's so whatever i got the point across i used the members colors or as well as i could i didn't have like an apricot so i just used orange for jihyo um but yeah so i made them each their own little pages with these little squares and then later you'll see that i write like the different types of versions and i tried to arrange them how it would make sense i kind of did it based off of like the border normally i do it by outfits but at the time i didn't know what all of the cards looked like so i tried to go off the borders of what i knew so now that i do know what they look like it might change um i might switch it around but once I have my albums and once I start collecting, I'll definitely be doing like updates on it, like an update on my more and more collection type thing. Uh, the same thing that I did with Feel Special and that I did with an Ode for Seventeen. I'll do the same thing where I just make update videos since I am collecting three members and then OT9. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I So like I said, I have one set of albums coming tomorrow from Amazon. So these are my first ones. The other three sets that I have coming are coming from group orders. So I have two sets coming from my group order, which I ordered through Music Plaza. Um, so we have 67 albums in that group order. Um, so I haven't like heard anything about them being shipped out yet. So um, I don't really know when those are coming. And then I did order from SQK Pop or Sam, and he has a lot of orders. He has like 1,500, so he said it'll take a few weeks, um, so that is cool. Um, I just won't be trading too much when I get those, um, so yeah, I don't know. I just, I want to try and wait until all my sets come in before I start trading a bunch, but if I get like dupes and such, then I'll probably start trading. Um, and since I'm only collecting three units, I don't know if I, I mean, I'm bound to get more than three units between all these albums. So I don't know if I'm going to ha just have to sell extra cards or what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll decide to collect more units. I don't really know. But once I have everything, I'll be able to like 
definitely figure out this is just like a rough kind of direction to put myself in so I know kind of what I'm doing so I'm not totally lost and stressed out oh and then for here um <laughs> I kind of forgot Dahyun's color is not gray it's white but I can't write with a white pen on a white paper so I just use gray most people will either use gray or like just invert it and do black um but yeah so um what am I doing I'm tapping on the table oh okay so I'm getting all the markers to make the OT9 set again I didn't have like every single like perfect color so <laughs> sorry I didn't have a hot pink I just had a light pink for Momo so it works, but luckily I had three different shades of blue that I could use for Nyan, Mina, and Chewy, so I guess that worked out, but I also thought about doing a video for, like, setting up my Eyes One collection, but, um, I'm still very unsure of what is happening for An Iric Diary, and then for Seventeen, we don't have any information yet, even though the comeback is in a few weeks, so we have, like, nothing, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine. All my alts making comebacks in the same month. I'm literally going broke. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I thought this was really fun to kind of film the process of because I feel like this is, like, my favorite thing to see is how everyone is gonna do their own thing. Like, how everyone's gonna collect. How everyone wants to set it up. Um, and just, like, how everyone goes through the process of, like... A new album being released and then preparing for it like from a collector's perspective I think it's really cool to see how everyone does things a little bit differently and kind of like everyone's methods and like how they set things up and why they set them up that way I think is always really interesting especially since I am a collector as well and sometimes I get like stuck like okay how am I gonna do this and then I can just see someone else doing it I'm like oh that's really smart I can do it that way too and it's also just really fascinating to see what everyone like thinks and wants to do with it and like how I don't know just how they connect things so yeah I don't know I'm really excited about this comeback I've been watching so many unboxings waiting for mine to come I'm literally like beyond excited I just can't wait for my first set to arrive like I don't know what I'm gonna feel I'm just really excited I'm gonna have that unboxing up like as soon as possible because I just oh my god I'm so excited it's gonna take everything in me to not like rush through it oh my gosh I'm just literally so in love with this comeback it's very different it's not like the summer nights that I wanted it to be like summer nights part two it's, that's like kind of what I was hoping for and I think a lot of people were hoping for it but it's it's so like different and it's such a unique take on a summer comeback. It's kind of like hippie vibes. It kind of reminds me of like, it, it like makes me feel very nostalgic because when I was um, in like middle school, I had this best friend and we would go to a music festival every single year. It's like a very family friendly music festival, but like very hippie nature vibes. Um, and it, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of it. Like we would literally like, put braids in our hair and like feathers and wear floral and just go to this music festival all day and like walk around drinking pink lemonade and just I don't know it just kind of reminds me of that so much like with the styling and stuff and I just really really enjoy it so yeah I don't know <laughs> um but what was I saying I kind of got off track but oh it's a very unique uh summer comeback it was not what i expected there's a lot of theories going on with people saying like this is like i don't know with the whole more and more it's kind of like a saying like twice is a drug and you want more of them going back to the drug thing like this is all hallucin hallucination with how crazy and like psychedelic it is um and i think that's really interesting it kind of makes me think there's going to be like a part two to this that there's like more to be said about it because there is like the darker concept that wasn't really touched on too much in like the music video and stuff so i don't know i'm really interested to see if we get like a part two i know it wasn't called like twice coaster lane one and twice coaster lane two like those that was kind of very this is a set like these two go together so there's no like more and more like part one or something but maybe the next comeback will kind of tie into it a little bit but yeah I don't know 
I really thought that Jonghyun and Chaeyoung really own this era. I think they both, like, are stunning. I'm really interested in Jonghyun because she is styled... Like, okay, a lot of people say that Jonghyun is always styled differently, and I agree. But this one, I think she was styled well and matched well with the members, except in the one concept where everyone is wearing, like, light pastel dresses, and she has on a black dress. And I feel like that was intentional in terms of the storyline of like maybe they're potentially being a part two and like she is going to be the main focus of that it also makes me think of feel special where everyone had a pair except jungyeon was like with herself i don't know i just feel like they're like trying to set something up with jungyeon here and i'm really intrigued to see what it's gonna be i don't know maybe i'm just like the wishful thinking but anyway so we've moved on to my actual binder i'm putting in the sleeves i put them in right after feel special of course and right above all the pre-order sets um so i kind of messed around i kind of set them up in how i wanted them to go but then i kind of messed around with it so this is what it looks like i always when there's only eight cards on a page for twice i leave the top right corner open i don't know why i just kind of like how that looks i don't like having the bottom corners open so i don't know i just left the top right corner open i don't again i don't know why but i kind of sorted them like the two on the top go together and then the th three in the middle go together and then the three on the bottom kind of go together in terms of border style um also i did not write on mina and dahyun's like what specific ones they are i only wrote them on jihyo's just so i can like i can just use jihyo's to reference where theirs are going to go to but also because then i can reuse the paper easier i can just kind of cut off the name and then reuse the paper um Again, I just try to save paper as much as possible, and I was kind of lazy and didn't want to write all of that. Then I set up my OT9 page as well. I did put in pockets off camera for the um, pre-order sets. I have three pre-order sets coming, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest, but here is how I set this up before I decided I was going to collect um, all the other, or the other unit of Mina and Sana, so I didn't put it in, but I do have it in there now. So yeah, this is kind of what it looked like. Oh, I did put in a filler, sorry, oh my gosh. But anyway, <laughs> that is all I had. I hope you guys are excited for my more and more videos. I'm definitely excited. I'm definitely excited to get this album, um, but I will talk more about the actual album and stuff um, when I get it and when we unbox it so yeah that is all i had thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys